Yo, welcome back for this overdue video. And when I say overdue, I mean your ranking. You are overdue from C1 to C2 or from C3 to G1. <laughs> Just a pun. Anyways, this video is about Arena AD advice only. I'm gonna try not to sidetrack to AO because that's a different video at a different time. But this is based on my opinion, okay? So, whatever I say, it goes based on your room quality, it puts you where you're supposed to be. If you, if you, if, if the opinion, if the advice I give you puts you on C1 and you're trying and you're trying, your room quality is for C1. So, well, the advice is pretty much for everyone from all levels, including all the way to G3, okay? So, There we go, best record, two. And since I've got two, I've got G3 the week after, G3 the week after, G3 the week after. And it's just following two simple rules, okay? But before we get into that, can't stress this enough. Where is it? The flags. Your flags are the most important thing you need to upgrade your flags. If you are a mid-game player, you haven't upgraded your flags, you need to upgrade your flags, even if you have to refresh an arena, okay? So, come in here, you need to do your rivals. Okay, you do your rivals, you get some free crystals. Refresh, get more points, more points equals more upgrades, okay? And once you get the upgrades, and don't forget, those upgrades actually apply everywhere in the game. So for example, the speed totem, you upgrade it, you get more speed into your dungeons, which is PvE. The only place it doesn't work is in Guild Wars. Guild Wars has its own flags. So you go ally buff, speed totem. Where is it? 15%. That's for my speed totem being maxed. Crit damage attack it applies everywhere. More arena points, higher... Um, Higher totems, faster PvE, faster dragon times, faster everything. Okay, so you do improve and then you can get better runes. Second of all, my arena defense runes are pretty much all giant runes. Okay, despair, swift, some necro runes like on wheel for like, you know, Zeros and so on. But those totems, the CD, the attack, the HP, it applies everywhere, all over the game, except for Guild War. Guild War has its own flags, okay? So you need to get that. If you have to refresh, refresh. Do your rivals, get crystals, refresh. Even if you're refresh, refreshing um, during rush hour, doesn't matter, because you are improving and you're building them faster. Okay, so, just in case you didn't know, and the higher you are, you get the more, more glory points, so it could be quicker. First off, Max this, or you can go to level 9, which is 14 speed. Go to level 9, leave it at level 9. I would say the second one would be <clears throat> crit damage. Okay, speed slot 2, crit damage slot 4. That's the only places you can get them. They are the most valuable ones, in my opinion. Where is crit damage? That's water. HP Crit damage After you do speed, max your crit damage Okay, after that, I'd say maybe HP Attack You guys choose Speed, crit damage, first two Do that Improves your PvE Faster room farming Faster everything Anyways, now let's get to the defense Okay So, the reason around this, before anyone asks, is because People hitting my defense during the week, they don't know how fast my Triton is. I'm gonna try not to click on him. I'm running 24 speed lead. Maybe they can outspeed me, maybe they can't. But come rush hour when I put Samarth in, then you know, you're like, ugh, I definitely maybe can't outspeed him. And that's all it is. For example, I say this to everyone when I give them advice. Your defense, you need a speed lead, okay? My first G1 I got, 
My speed level was Samap, yes. I was using Orion, and my stripper was Gemini. And my defense actually had Xeros in it, and I got G1. And it, Xeros was, was, Xeros was um, on my AO as well. It's similar to this, but this is a more upgraded version of it, and that's how I got 2G3. By using that, and then upgrading it, and then once I upgrade the runes, I upgrade the monsters, I can go a little bit higher. Okay, so, for example, say you don't have a speed lead, you can use you can use free to play monsters and I'll tell you how it works and what threats you need for you to go to the next level or for your defense to actually succeed so the whole point of a rush hour is to reduce the hits that you get so someone's gonna look at your AD they're gonna like they're gonna look at your AD and they're gonna be like mmm it's rush hour do I want to risk outspeeding the trident okay oh I'm gonna lose him do I want to outspeed not resetting it in Samath and hitting that belly and not critting on him. It's all about reducing it. You're gonna get hit no matter what. But the thing is, how many times are you gonna get hit? And is it gonna take longer to hit you than hitting someone else to get higher rank? I hope that makes sense to all of you. So for example, I'll just show you a few different ideas. You can go Gemini speed lead, Orion attack buff, um, attack buff booster, and then you need two threats. So Gemini could be Sierra, could be Chiwu, could be Gemini, could be Vanessa, could be Samaf. And the attack power booster could be Orion, Frigga, Kabila, Tiana, anything. You put your fastest set on it. If you can, you put Will. If you can't, then you're going to get risk getting layered. But, you know, you can't be all defenses. You want to just put that risk. Even a Leo person will be like, is this person, he's taking a gamble. Is this person on Will? Is he not on Will? But... Gemini, Orion, Attack Bar Booster, then you need two threats or two stalls. This is for rush hour. So two threats or two stalls. For example, I don't know. Rakan could be a threat. Rakan, this is old school. Rakan and Camellia. How long is it gonna take me if possibly I do outspeed him, which I'm thinking. If I do outspeed him, how long is it gonna take me to kill the Camilla and the Rakan? So you need the speed and you need the bruises. Okay, it could be Ratesh. Could be anything. Two five bruises is my my general way of going. Most people go the same way. But I'm lucky enough to have Nigong and I can throw Nigong in there. Okay. And he's my Ooh, should I show my Nigong is? I used to have him faster. His nemesis used to trick, but you know, you need to be hidden. 33k, 34k illusions without triggering his uh, nemesis. But anyways, I don't always use it now that I've got Juno. Or I can use Perna and so on. So that's my advice to you. Upgrade your totems. Have two different... The speed, the meta right now is speed. So you need your speed lead and your attack bar booster. Could be anything as a speed lead. That's for arena, okay? It could be, could be Gemini, like I said, you know. It could be Sierra. It could be Chiwu. Chiwu is a stripper as well, so that's a plus. Having your attack bar booster like Tiana strips attack bar boost, but very low base speed. Tiana was meta for years and years and years, and then Trident got buffed, and now she's not meta anymore. But anyways, that's one of them. Mine's on, mine's on Will anyway, so she can't get Leo. But she's not that fast, and any Tiana can outspeed her. So, I just want to show you my defense during rush, and I'll tell you why it works so well, and how mine is holds me up there in G3. Not always, but first of all, if you're trying to break a record, yes, refresh. Climb up high before rush. During rush, have an arena defense that's going to reduce getting hit. So. It's a risk. So, for example, with me, Samaf needs to be reset. Zero zero is going to reset my Samaf. And then, actually, I put Trident second. The reason is, is because if we're both running Samaf Trident, the closest one to the speed lead moves first. That's why my Trident is right there. Moves first. Little little tip there. Okay, and then if you're running Xeroth and you're like, oh, or you're running Samath, 
And you're like, oh, I can reset once a month. I'll put a second risk. Can you reset both of these? Do you want to take that gamble during rush? And then you put another fire threat for Leos and Lucians. And my second fire threat is Belenius. Okay, he's a hybrid. He's, he's fast, he hits hard, and he has good HP. So you want to hit him. Anyways, the way I use my defense is also my offense. And the reason for that, maybe I'll tell you in my AO video, but the reason for that, I'll, I'll give you a little clue, is instead of using attack bar booster, I am using, and tuning to an attack bar booster, I am using Triton. And he does attack bar reduction. So I'm actually, I've I actually tuned my monsters, which is actually Belenius and then Zaros to follow. Sometimes my Samath goes first if his nemesis is triggered, but Triton, Belenius, Zeros. Reset and then mine works so well because I've got double resets. Zyros hits, if he doesn't reset anything, Samath comes, does a second reset. And besides speed meta, reset is the second one. If you don't have resets, I don't know, use a Bastet and use the shield to protect you from Samath coming back. Okay, so as I was saying, the reason why my Triton attack bar reduction. So he's instead of boosting, he's re reducing your attack bar. He might go up on one, but he's still reducing your other attack bars and he's throwing all your team out of speed tuning, okay? If he strips them all and reduces all the attack bar, great, because my Belenese moves first. If he reduces the attack bar of only one per monster, that monster is out of sync. It could be Tiano, it could be something else. The attack bar is reduced and I'm still moving next. Okay, so Belenius is speed tuned to move right after Triton reduces anyone's attack bar. If he's reducing everyone's attack bar, he's gonna AOE, defense break everyone, attack break everyone, provoke everyone. Great monster, great kit. Mine works great. You can use other things. Like I said, my first AO for G1 was Samarth, Orion, Gemini, Zeros. And I had Gemini, not like everyone else builds him. I had Gemini built on attack, attack, because he's he's passive strips one effect. Okay, so I had him on speed, attack, attack, and with such high attack, he breaks the shield, and then his passive kicks in to do the AO strip. And having an AO strip, then Zeros came in, and that's how I got my first G1. Okay, so you gotta work real hard, and then I upgraded that to Belenius when I got him, Zeros ruined him up and Triton when he got buffed and I removed Gemini out of there, okay? The both and Tiana just died and I got it after, which is a big shame. So, running this defense during rush, someone's gonna look at me, it's like, do I risk outspeeding him during rush because if I don't outspeed him, I'm gonna lose. It's going to take a lot of time and if I do outspeed him, do I want to reset to reset opponent and some up or do I want to spend 15 minutes to try to kill a Camilla? These are things you want to stall it, reduce the hits, not try to get wins, try to reduce the hits and that's what I stress to use. This is my advice I give to use. Then your rune quality is going to put you where you belong. If you belong in Challenger, Challenger 3, you know, Fighter 3, C1, trying to go to C2, and if you can't make it with this advice, go get better runes, and then try again. Climb up high, put a defense that stalls. As I was saying before the app crash, put a defense that stalls, and give them a threat. Climb up high, reduce your hits, and win in your AO while your defense is holding, okay? It might be getting hit, but switch it up a little bit, you know? Switch it up. Put a couple of fire threats in there, put a Camille in there, put a Retish in there. Keep the speed lead, keep the attack bar boost up. Swap two monsters always, okay? Two monsters, you can do anything you want. Things that stall. You can even throw in a Fang Yang in there sometimes, you know? Just for a minute, because potential to stall. First I need to add speed you, and once I, after I speed you, I need to beat you. And am I going to beat a Fang Yang? Proking and attack breaking and all that sort of stuff. Okay, like I was saying, your runes will put you where you're supposed to be. My runes, I kept farming oh, all my runes here. Despair, like a nemesis I get from Nuka, but you can craft some nemesis or will runes. 
farming giants, you get material, go, farm, go craft some of those nemesis rooms. Get them from um, lab, maybe. Okay, but most of my ruins are from giants. See, like my Zeros, giant runes, you know? Belenia's giant runes. Samarth, giant runes. Triton, my fastest monster, giant runes. If you're a beginner or mid game player, grind giants, okay? Violent runes work for AO, but I, even my AO, let's test this, okay? I'll show you why my defense works. I mean, my offense works. And then I'll show you why my defense works. So now I'm risking can I add speed you? Yes, I can add speed you. Now I need to reset you. Can I reset? some up okay and so risk let's go i have no attack bar i mean i don't have attack bar boom everyone's reset i'm good if it didn't reset anyone some is tuned to move next guaranteed to reset someone for sure everyone's reset everyone's disabled i can press auto and it's done but now let's switch this around now, I'm hitting my own defense. This is my rush hour defense, okay? The first 40 minutes, I change it up the last 10 minutes. I'm gonna move first, because I'm testing my own defense, and then that's how it is when you test on yourself. You move first, it doesn't matter who's speed. Okay, now I need a strip. Attack by reduce everyone. I did, I got lucky there. Boom. Ayuri, death break for everyone, provoke. Do I reset everyone? Everyone got reset, I got lucky there. See? That's my AO, but my AO works as an AD as well. Because I've tuned it that way. Instead of having an attack bar, attack bar buffer like Tiana, attack bar boost, I've tuned to attack bar reduction. Okay, and there's so much to it. And I got a lot of help from a lot of different people. How to tune to it. If you're unsure, put your fastest set on a monster and then you go second fastest set on your second person to move. Again, let's try that. Let's try a different test. I actually have two more good AOs that I don't use, which is Shield Will Cleave and a Bomber Team on Will. Okay, so try to always do Let's test this. Just for fun, just for the video purposes. <sighs> Trident goes, everyone's attack by reduction, everyone's attack break, defense break. Okay, now my turn. What am I gonna do? There's not much I can do. See, can't do that during rush. I was supposed to release this video yesterday, but I'm releasing it now. Should give you enough time to watch it, get the idea, climb up. There we go. It didn't reduce it. Uh, Trident's attack bar. Who's gonna move? Oh, see, belly moves second. He moved. Everyone's off sync. That's the great thing about Triton. Throws your whole team out of speed tuning. Anyways, I hope that makes sense to you, all of you. Like I said before, I don't want people to get used to my Triton speed, and this is what I run. So, things to point out out of this video. Refresh in arena, do your rivals, get glory points. Upgrade your speed totem, most valuable. Upgrade your crit damage second, most second valuable. And then do attack, HP, as you please. These totems, upgrading them, improves you in PvE. Your dragon's times will get faster, your giant's times will get faster. It will help you everywhere. I hope if you didn't know that, that's something you need to know and you need to do it as must know. 
and then during rush you climb up you want to get your new record refresh doesn't matter you get crystals at the end of arena you put a speed lead and attack by a booster could be orion tiana whatever speed lead you go and you put two threats for stall and potential win okay you put threats for potential win that's my defense that I'm running. Let's see what, let's see what how, that's how it's been running. Thirty-five percent. Okay, so people that didn't outspeed me got destroyed. The people that did outspeed me, you had to reset some art. Sometimes I'll have turn up, but I, I think it's people that can't outspeed me. My trident isn't doing as much. But yes, apply that to your arena defense. Apply that to your arena defense. And I'm sure you'll do better and your rune quality will put you where you belong if it's c2 if it's c3 g1 fighter 3 going to c1 rune quality people on your rune quality have the same stats as you they have the same speed leads the same attack bar boosters with the same amount of rough estimate speed and then you're fighting them so this will work in any level and then put two threats put reset threats like a perna some math Put tanky bruises like Camila, Ratesh, Rakan, things that can't get Leo, things that can't get Lucian, things that have high resistance like Bastet. My AO struggles with Bastet. One Xeros doesn't reset her. Triton always gets resisted when he's hitting the Bastet. I don't know why, but she just has a high res. And you build out Bastet with high res. Anyways, that is all, guys. This video is just. Like I repeated myself just to stress out the points. My next video I'm gonna upload after this is gonna be the siege. It was a very, very close. Oh, was it a very close siege? Yeah, it was a it was alright siege. Reverse squad zero. Also, I'm gonna put a little guild war guild war clip after the end of this. If you wanna watch it, it was actually guild war. It was guild war versus squad zero at the time we uh, fought the squad zero. They were ranked one legend, okay? Just get some comp ideas, look at how much they actually proc at those levels. And my safe comps that I use, that you guys watch me win with, ain't safe at that level, okay? They actually very, like, they get destroyed. And so you need to just watch it. Fast forward, it's only gonna be a few minutes. All right, that is up. See you guys later. Good luck in Rush. Don't hit me in Rush, by the way. Okay, bye. Peace. Yellow bye. Like a banner, G, I'll conquer In my soul, this is real These nights are getting shorter In my soul, this is real
Concrete.